Hey guys. Well, just to let you know, we are trying to get on Spotify, but at the minute our RSS feed is on Podbean. So if you want to go and check us out on Podbean, and links, down below. links down below, and hopefully in the future it will be on Spotify. So you can listen to it whenever you're working, whenever you're doing your homework, or what Paint and whatever. If any of you's run. Yeah, yeah run. <laughs> Let's be serious, guys. None of us are gone. Uh, but no, like, it's on Podbean at the minute. We're waiting on Spotify to approve us. So, fingers crossed. Fingers we'll crossed, just wait it shouldn't see. take that long. Uh, but, like, enough of that. Let's get into the video. Players lost in ruin, trying to evade a Medusa, but they've lost track of her. Where is she? I don't know. Let me check. I peek around the corner and roll spot. Are you sure you want to? 19! Booyah! <laughs> Plus 12 is 31. What do I see? Well, what everyone else sees is you look around the corner and turn into stone. <laughs> <laughs> Stay to that. <laughs> fucking hell! <laughs> I don't know you. Fucking Medusa. So to actually start this thread, what are the most impressive fuck-ups that you or your party or players have committed, TG? Fuck off. If you want content for your YouTube channel, go to Reddit. No, I will not go to Reddit. TG's far superior. One I, of the replies. Hi, Nick Birdie. Put me in the screen cap. Cheers, guy. No sweat. You can be in the screen cap. That's Snowballer. This is really weird because this is the first time I think I've ever been called out. Yeah. But, okay, like, I did not make this thread, okay? No. I did not make this thread. Everybody just, thinks we start threads, but we actually don't. We actually don't. I've only started one or two threads, okay? Have you? Yeah. Oh. Don't but, know that. <laughs> like, only on occasion, okay? <laughs> only when I've got hard, like, only when you sleep in the bottom of the barrel, okay, guys? <laughs> but, like, the quality threads, so, you know. And you can't say it was you because you're all anonymous! Yeah! <laughs> Party are in the settings equivalent of the Vatican City. To investigate a dungeon beneath the city that part of the sewers collapsed into. Non divine magic here is basically treated as blasphemy and heresy against the gods. If you practice any magic not given by the gods, you're basically a witch here. Party Wizard gets herself into the city by passing herself off as an archaeological scholar with interest in the ruins. Right before we head down into the dungeon, the church sends a cleric NPC with us. Cleric NPC introduces himself and then asks us more about ourselves. Dumbass that guy Rogue immediately cuts us off and begins speaking. Whatever, at least he's role playing for once instead of trying to kill or steal stuff. Goes over all of the players and gets to the wizard. Yeah, she's from the academy up in... <laughs> Fuck <Sick>. me. <laughs> yeah, she's from the academy up in Joran. So if we need to blow anything up with fireballs, she's got this. My face went, I'm the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor fucker. Fuck. Per Why is it always Luke's out that tend to be that guy? I don't know. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but today's sponsor is brought to you by Neckbeardia's 3D printed models. Go ahead and check out the eBay store down below. We have tons and tons of really cool looking models. We've got it all from orcs, dwarves, the lizards and fish people. And yes, most of the sets you can get some big bitty bitches in with them. <laughs> and honestly, they're our biggest sellers. Yeah, by far. Yeah. All the models are printed and processed by us, and it is by far the best way to help us out to do what we do. So go ahead and check them out below, and just just look at this lizard lady with titties. She got big titties. <laughs> look at the titties! <laughs> Once we tried to save the townspeople by taking them to the town church, just for the big bad to show there and kill them all. Oops. Oopsie! <sighs> Oopsie! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Why am I like this? <laughs> Going through not under dark. Visit semi-peaceful dry dwarf city with a river. Wait, semi-peaceful? Semi-peaceful? No, there's no such thing as peaceful. <laughs> Between two guys, no. Get that out of here. Later, after fighting monsters and helping the town, see rapid river. Monsters were dropping corpses in it. Let's stone shape the river tunnel and explore downstream for the remains and valuables. Turns out it was the river flowing through the town. Dry city got flooded. Still no exit for the water. More and more tunnels get flooded. Many dead dry and dwarfs. <laughs> Murder god senpai notice us. <laughs> Hunted by peelies. Good times as neutral good party. <laughs> oh god. That's a good one. I like that one. That's one of my favourites. Be me. Be running a Shadowrun-esque GURPS game. 
Players are supposed to steal weapons research from a megacorp that's contracted with the military. Emphasize multiple times that they need to be stealthy about this because the military's involved. Within the first 10 minutes of the mission, they're trying to blow holes in the wall <laughs> with explosives and are in a gunfight with the security force who's now calling the nearby military base to send in backup. <laughs> Nice. Nice. But then again, like, just don't trust players. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you say, oh, no, you guys should be stealthy, they'll be like, all right, let's nice go on the bells but, like, all around Let's just do this. Well, like, <laughs> yeah. we're going to do it our way. Or finger it. guns. But, yeah, exactly. See you later. <laughs> yeah. That is a finger gun moment. Playing as the master of a ninja order. While I'm away tracking down a powerful oni that eats villages, my students stole leadership of the order. I swiftly returned. Sneak in and kill those who were disloyal. Working my way to the traitor. Nani? <laughs> <laughs> Survive all the new traps that surprise me, including a pit of alligators. Survive the skirmishes. Some men remained loyal and followed me. Get to the traitor. He demands a 1v1 with my severely wounded ass for honour. After all his underhanded shit. Like a fucking chump, I agreed. I bought rolls, he crits. Amazingly, it's still close somehow. I get him down to one hit point, and he kills me. After the game... <laughs> Bullshit. After the game, the DM says it's a fucking ninja order, and I could have refused the challenge. Postponed till I could recover. Just order him executed. Surprise attack. Anything, and my men would have been loyal. I blew it. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, you kind of forget, oh wait, it's a ninja, you know what I mean? Yeah. The not really honour and stuff isn't really part of the code of conduct, I suppose. Yeah. And it kind of always goes out of your mind, like, no, no, I'll do the one view, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, fucking do it. I'll fucking do it, I'll fucking do it, bro. Fucking do it. <laughs> Dark Heresy, second edition. Players are on a ship in the warp. Psyker character has been dabbling in blood sorcery via Slanesh. That is never a fucking good no. idea. That is, that's, just, that's just, you just asking for a shit show, you know? Do you want fucking sex demons? That's how you get sex demons. Decides to use a spell to remove a bunch of boils he got in his face from a previous mishap. No, that's no, that's not a reason to fucking call him smash, right? <laughs> Succeeds. Sister of Battle character notices boils are gone. Sisters of Battle have previously attempted to murder the Psyker for minor psychic phenomenal manifestations. Yeah, it's a fucking tongue twister, keep going. And one accidental demon summon. Accidental Acc demon summoning? Like, 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 human psychers are really shit here. Uh, this sh they shit happens all the time, so it does. Human psychers are not to be trusted. They always. They're summoning demons all the time back. So, oh, I didn't mean to, bro. Didn't mean to. I'm not a fucking secret cultist. <laughs> Narrowly restrained, has warned the psyker that the next time he won't be so lucky. Hey, what happened to your boils? Psyker rolls to deceive. Fails. Fate point reroll. Fails. Decided to use a special secret sorcerer spell to reroll a skill check with bonuses. Pushes. Rolls doubles. Goes to psychic phenomenon table. DM rolls that because we are currently in the warp, he will add 15 to his results in the table. Goes over 75. Move to Pearl's table. Oh, Jesus Christ. Rolls an 85. Adds 15. 100 on the Pearl's table. The result for which is that the Psyker is instantly destroyed by warp fire, with a 50-50 chance that a demon is summoned in their place. Oh, Jesus. Power based on Psy rating of the now defunct Psyker. We roll for it. And it happens, of course. Psyker is Psy rating 7 or something. A bloodthirster of corn is summoned. Does 3d10 plus 35 damage, penetrating 8? Yeah, it wins to kill him. Fuck me, 90. Wins to Jesus kill 90 <laughs> as his basic attack, not even counting all his stacked combat talents. Oh, oh shit, don't take oh, JPEG. Oh, Jesus. Uh, you don't want to... You do, like, honestly, like, a bloodthirster, for you guys that don't know, is probably the most powerful demon you can summon. Like, it's actually very difficult to summon the Bloodthirster. <laughs> like, it's very difficult, so that's this pretty big, right? Bloodthirster has a fear rating of three, so the whole party there to witness this just shits their pants and runs. Bloodthirster begins killing entire crew, moving towards the bridge. We literally have no way of killing this thing. Or do we? 
My character had just been retrieved after being lost in the warp due to a previous mishap, gained a lot of insanity and corruption while he was there, and was basically being manipulated by a Zechian demon. Had learned demon binding in the warp via this demon, already created a demon weapon. Was at this moment already working with another player to prepare a demon host body to capture a herald of Nurgle from a previous plot thread that we knew the true name of. This was late in the campaign. Anyone who hadn't died horribly already had 50 plus corruption and slash or insanity. So now we have this bloodthirster about to kill everyone and this conveniently prepared body on hand meant for binding demons within them. Hmm. Hmm. I have a spell for my demon weapon that lets me spend all my fate points on the same test. So I use it for the binding ritual and trap the bloodthirster. Saving us all. Everything is fine now, right? Right. Right, <laughs> right. guys. Right, guys. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, now we're all complicit in demon binding. A very heretical thing to do. Most of us start to try and cover our tracks by taking command of the vessel on authority of the Inquisition, killing astropaths who could tell on us, shit like that. Sisters of Battle is not happy about this. Goes with a newer, lesser corrupted party member down to the plasma drives with a wheelbarrow full of melted bombs. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Honestly, just blew the whole ship at yeah. this point. But they're still in the warp though, so... Well, that's right. <laughs> so shut the fuck up, James. <laughs> Blows the whole ship in half to save us from our heresy escaping herself on an escape pod. PCs on the ship burn fate to survive explosion. Due to the Zechian demon watching over me, I don't have to burn fate. Instead I have a mutation where I just gain corruption instead of dying. I have nearly 80 corruption at this point, basically already fallen to chaos. Sisters of Battle and other PCs still on the ship decide that my character is responsible for all this heresy, decide I need to be killed. I mind rape a gunner to shoot down Sisters of Battle escape pod she burns to survive. Then use spontaneous combustion psychic power on torpedo tubes, blowing up the ship a second time. Whole party is either dead now or stranded in space on escape pods. We have to reboot the party due to total party kill. All because one player had to use demonic sorcery instead of just getting a tube of Accutane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. I really like that one. That's actually one of the best 40k stories we've came across in yeah. a while. I always love 40k stories when it completely ends and just everyone fucking dies. Because it just makes sense. You know? I think it makes This next post is on the same topic, but it's actually a guy who posted on our Facebook group. So if you're tired of the same old boring Facebook groups, come shit post on ours. <laughs> so it's just oh. neckbeardia. So you'll find it. Yeah. Um, so the guy said, Oh, I've got one for you. Running a homebrew 5th edition campaign. Wife and several friends are playing. Party has to camp at the edge of a forest for a night. Wife's elf druid takes first watch. She wisely decides to climb into a tree to gain a potential surprise around anything that comes along to hurt them. A couple of hours into your watch, I roll on my encounter table and get four gnolls. The gnolls rolled shit on stealth, so my wife hears them coming, but can't see them due to being in a tree. I ask her what she wants to do, and she says she will attack the first enemy she sees. A few seconds later, a gnoll comes sneaking by the tree. My wife proudly and excitedly yells, I cast Produce Flame! <laughs> oh god, tree. in a fucking tree! Oh Jesus Christ. When I asked her if she's sure she wants to do that, she enthusiastically repeated herself. After asking a second time and getting the same answer, I tell her, you reach out your hand and a ball of flame appears in your palm, illuminating you, the tree, and the knoll beneath you. He looks up, snarls, and fires an arrow at you. You take six points of damage. Roll initiative. Thus began the argument. Wife was angry because I didn't give her the surprise round. Oh, then got even more upset when I explained that she wasted her element of surprise by casting a spell that requires two actions to make an attack. They still won the fight, but she was pissed for a couple of days. Oh yeah, I would believe that. I would definitely believe that. Too long didn't read. Yeah. Read your fucking spells. <laughs> yes. Oh, like, I, like I fall into that as well. I'll read your fucking spells. I, I do that all the time. It's like, oh no, what do you want? Wait, this still exists. It's like, no, you're wrong. I would, honestly, if... If, if I were playing and you were DM and you done that shit with me, I'd be like, mate, 
Suck my balls. Divorce. 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 I'm Divorce. taking the kids. So, nice. <laughs> so guys, big news. So we said at the start we're going where we are uploading the audio just to Podbean, which will then be shared to Spotify, which is we are Spotify now. approval. Approve at us, the minute. You know what I mean. However, it does also automatically go to Facebook as well. So yeah. if you want the audio format, you can get it on Facebook and you can get it on Podbean. Generally speaking, it's a day early. Yeah. Because it just means once we're finished recording, I can just quickly edit the audio and then and throw, throw it, it up. up. And then, because that's what we And then do. do the video and then put it on YouTube. Normally, like, that's what we normally do. Yeah. We, uh, we record audio the day before and then I edit it and throw it up that night. Yeah. Like, that's the standard So practice. if you want... To get ahead of the crowd a little bit go over and check out the pod being links down below and we'll let you know when, when or if we get approved we need for, to spotify. Wait for spotify we need to wait for us. Uh, approval but um, go over and check us out on Sp- um, Podbean yeah. keep saying Spotify I know but we will be there soon I hope but you hopefully guys- we'll be there soon hopefully. so if you like to listen to us like in the car or if you like have to take the bus like, or whatever, you know. Most of you guys are very sick of Facebook. Oh, sorry, sick of YouTube. Like, we all know YouTube's bad. It's not a great... Yeah. Just, but there's nowhere else to go. Yeah. But with Joe Logan moving over to Spotify, I was Hopefully like, you know Hopefully it's going to bring um, more people over with Joe moving over. Yeah. And um, they're talking about video format, so I don't know. I don't know what's so going to happen. We, we'll see. We'll see. I think it's going to be really big, though. And I hope you guys are going to join us or at least watch us over yeah. there as well from time to time because it is going to be up early. Yeah, and I've heard a lot of you saying that you wanted the audio versions anyway. Yeah. So, and this also means that we might take a lot of the older ones. If we get approved for Spotify, we might take a lot of the older ones. I know people still go, oh, where's the robot voice? Well, well we yeah, might we put can, a lot of the robot the voice ones over there oh, what's some of the older ones and and we don't know spotify's but we don't know so we don't know like it's very up in the air at the minute and no word it's all playing up by ear at the minute but, and see what's uh, happening just but to keep you guys up to speed also definitely check out the facebook group because you know decent one yeah it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty good to be honest with you. um but anyway like we've talked enough i hope you guys enjoyed this one we're probably going to be making another one if you have got any of your own stories leave them down below and if we got enough of them we might do a uh, video on subscriber video yeah, yeah that would be pretty cool but like that's enough of us talking for the meantime hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you bye nutty